Uh, question, this is Test Yourself 21 and we're currently doing one part three. It says 10x squared multiply by 7 multiply by, or sorry, divide by 7 multiply by 40 and y squared over 5xy. So what happens here is this means multiply by x squared, this means divide by x. So this will get rid of the x squared. x squared is xx, xx divided by x leaves x. Likewise, y squared divided by y, just get rid of the squared and the y. Next you're left with 14 divided by 7, 2, 10 divided by 5, 2. You're left with 2 multiplied by x, 2 multiplied by y, 2x by 2y, and that will get you 4xy. Happy enough with that? Would you like me to make up another one similar to it, to practice? Can you do cross multiplication first? No, because there's no equal sign. Cross multiplication only happens when there's an equal sign in between it. Okay, try this one on for size. 36 uh, a, a cubed uh, divided by 9. Okay, and on the other one we'll do bigger number on the bottom. Yeah, 27 on the bottom here. And... Sorry I, went, sorry, I went for the wrong number there. Should, should went for a different uh, type of number. 24 here, and 8 here, and we call this 8AB, we call this B squared. Okay guys, this one here, alright? You looking? A cubed is how many A's? 3. 1, 2, 3. A on the bottom is just 1. How many A's are left? change it into a squared and get rid of that a there this one is b squared over b which is bb over b and how many are left one show you that out now 36 divided by 9 4 4 and then finally after that uh, 8 divided by 24 one third. Now what's left? Four over three. A squared B. Do you see that? The B's left over, the A squared is still there, and it's four over three. So that's how you do those ones, okay? Is there any other parts of question one you'd like me to do? You're all happy enough? Okay, we'll move on so. Uh, next one we'll move on to is question, was it 2C you wanted? Is this 2C? Is this 2C? Is this question 2C? No. I was asked to do 2C, wasn't I? <coughs> next we're doing question 2C. And what we notice here is... Uh, the figure consists of a square and a rectangle. If the perimeter of the figure is P, express P in terms of X, Y, and Z. This one here is going to be X plus Y. Do you see it from here to here? And then what about here to here? X plus Z. X plus Z. Now let's get the perimeter. Perimeter equals, start here, it's going to be X plus Y plus X plus Z plus y plus z plus x plus another x how many x's do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4 4 x's, how many y's do we have? <coughs> 1, 2 and finally how many z's do we have? 1, 2 that's our answer there ok, if x equals 2y y equals 2z and p equals 55 find the value of x now p is 55 everybody happy with that now to do this equation how many equations do we have this that's one equation if you want to answer the question using one equation you need to only have one letter we need to get rid of letters okay so the first thing i'm going to do is can anybody tell me which one's the smallest letter? X is 2 times Y. Y is 2 times Z. 
What does that mean about uh, what does that mean about Z? Four times smaller than X. Four, it's the smallest, isn't it? Yeah. Let's change everything into Z's for a minute. Okay? So X equals two times Y, doesn't it? So four times two Y plus two Y plus two Z. Just bear with me a second. That gives me is that eight Y, isn't it? Yeah? Plus two Y is 10y. 10y plus 2z. I'm now down to two letters. What can I do with y? Replace it with 2z. And then I'm going to get 20z plus 2z equals 55. What's 20? 22z. Is it 22z? Yeah. Now, what is 55 divided by 22? 5 over 2. And 5 over 2 is 2 and a half. And what do we know about y? y is twice as big as z, which makes y. x is twice as big as y, which makes x 10. And that's how you find out. One letter on zone, work your way back up. Let's begin. Uh, you make a big divide by sign. You put your your cubic equation in here, and you have x minus two in here. Now, how many times does x cubed divided by x? What's x cubed divided by x? X squared. X squared. Okay. Multiply it, and then what happens? We get x cubed minus. 2x squared. Then what do we need to do? <coughs> Change the sign. So we get minus and plus. And we get x squared minus 14x. Now what happens? x on top. x squared divided by x is plus x. And then x multiplied by x? x squared. x multiplied by minus 2? Minus 2x. And now we got it once again. We got to change the sign and take it away. Minus and plus. And now we have 16x. We know the 24. Now, uh, 16x divided by x. Not 12x. It should be 12x. Yes, you're right. It is 12x because it doesn't divide in equally otherwise. Sorry. Minus 12x. Sorry. Minus 12x as well. Excuse me. Now. How many times does x go into minus 12, uh, 12x? Minus 12x divided by x? Minus 12 times. And then what, hap what do we get? Minus 12x plus 24. Then what happens? Change the sign. Zero. So our answer here is this here. Have you enough of that? Okay. Right. Uh, there's a lot of them on the the, the, the YouTube, so you should be if you need any more problems, just look up the exercise number and match it up with the video, and you'll get more help that way. Uh, what am I doing next? Number four, is it? Which part of four? Four C, is it? Yeah. Okay. Any other part of four that's of interest to you? All right, I'll do four C. Hi right, guys, for C. In the given triangle, two equal sides are marked. That means this side equals this one here. So here to here equals here to here. Okay. If the perimeter of the triangle is 26 centimeters, write an equation in x and solve it to find its value. Okay. What can I say about this length here? It's also 2x over 3 minus 5. Everybody happy with that? Yeah. And what happens when I add all three sides together? 26. 26. Okay, so let's see what happens. Uh, 2x over 3 minus 5 plus 2x minus 3 minus 5 plus x over 2 plus 3. Everybody happy with that? Now, what I want you guys to do in your calculator. So here's what you're gonna do. 
you're going to add all the x's together so it's 2 over 3, 2 over 3 plus a half so what you're going to do there is you're just going to get your calculator and you're just going to go okay 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3 now you don't put in the x's because it doesn't work with the x's in it plus a half 11 over 6 11 over 6x is everybody happy with that? now blue section minus 5 minus 5 plus 3 minus 7 equals 26 bring the 7 over the other side and what do we get? 11 over 6x equals 33. 33 now if it's multiplied by 11 over 6 on the left what happens when I bring the 11 6 over the other side? If it's multiplying the left, it's divided on the right. So 33 divided by 11 over 6. What do we get? 18. 18. X equals 18. Okay? <coughs> yeah, 18. Okay. Now, uh, part B, part 1. If B over 2X equals B minus A get X on its own okay here's what we're gonna do okay we got across multiply so we're gonna get B equals 2x multiplied by B minus A see the way we're moving X up into the top right position now that that's done what we can do next is we can move the uh, we can move to 2 underneath so we can say B over 2 equals x times b minus a and if b, if b minus a is multiply on the right what is, what is it when it goes on the left? divide so we bring it down and we say b divided by 2 divided by b minus a equals x and that's it done there ok now uh, b part 2 A B part 2 simplify as far as possible so to simplify this as far as possible what happens in junior cert when you divide something by a fraction if I had two thirds divided by three uh, sorry four fifths what would you do what you do with the what you do with this here no uh, before you you're used to the calculator no, only when you add and subtract them. You turn the second one upside down and multiply. The answer to this is 10 over 12, which is 5 over 6. Did you got it? Yeah. 10 over 12, 5 over 6. So, guys, what you're doing this time is you're going to turn this one upside down. So, you're going to get 3a squared b all over 5c multiplied by 10 over 9ab you turn it upside down <coughs> what cancels? a with? squared squared b with? b uh, 10 divides by? Five. to give you 2 3 divided by 9? a third 3 on the bottom yeah. now what's left now? what's left on top? what's the only thing that's untouched in here? A and what's here? 2A. What's untouched here? And what's untouched here? 3. 3C. 2A over 3C. Okay. Okay, guys. 5A. Now, 5A, if you remember correctly, you get a lowest common denominator. To do this, to find out what the lowest common denominator is, you do two ways. The first way you could do it is with three lines, or the second way you could do it is which is the biggest denominator on? Uh, four. Four. Count up in fours. Four, eight. Five. Which one of these is divisible by three? Twelve. Twelve. That means you want to change this one into twelve. So you have to multiply the top and bottom by? Three. Three. Because you turned the bottom into twelve, which means you're going to turn the top into twelve. 
How would you turn 3 into 12? So that means you multiply the top and bottom by 4. Now let's see what happens. 4 times 3x times minus 1? 12x minus 4. Plus? Uh, 3x plus 15. All divided by? 12. Now what happens? Uh, Underlined in blue. Oh. Add, yeah, and you get? 15 And now underlined in green. Uh, <coughs> is it, uh, 11. 11. All over? 12. 12, and that's that one done. Okay? So after the 12, yes. You can only get rid of the 12 when there's an equal sign. And you can cross off with something on the other side. Okay, guys. Keep going. <coughs> now, 5B. The charge, in, the charge C in euro for hiring a hall of event is C equals 150 euro plus 2N, where N stands for the number of people at the event. Find the charge when 250 people are present. How would you do that? 250 plus 2 times 250. Yeah, replace n with 250, and we get the answer is 650. Not too difficult, that one. What about B part 2? B part 2? Find the number of people at the event when the charge is 790. What equals 790? Which letter? C, C is 790. 150 is still the same. And it's still two times. And what letter do you need to get on its own? Two n. Number of people. You need to get n on its own. So Brian says two n, which is fair enough. Bring the one fifty out to your side. What happens? Seven hundred fifty. Which is six hundred forty. And then um, what about the two n? Uh, you bring the two hundred. And what you get? Thirty two. Uh, Three twenty. Oh, yeah. N equals 320 people. Okay. Hey guys, can you see all that now, yeah? Finally, last question. Uh, okay. 3a minus 2b divided by 3 equals a half. Express a in terms of b. A in terms of b. Okay, what can we do first, guys, to get rid of those fractions? You can do, do it two different ways. You can cross multiply. That's all right to do, is it? Yeah. It was divided by 2, now it's multiplied by 2. So 2 multiplied by 3a. Minus 2b equals what? 3. Three. Multiply this out. 6a minus 4b equals 3. Bring the 4b over the other side and we get 6a equals 3 plus 4b. And what's stopping it at last? The 6. It was multiplied by 6, now it's going to become. Divide by 6, 3 plus 4b divided by 6. Is that alright? Any questions? <coughs> Happy enough? Yeah. Now, look at this. Use your result to show that 6a minus 4b can be expressed as a single number k. Does anybody see 6a minus 4b on its own in my solution? Just keep looking down. There. And what did I say it's equal to? 3. So there it is. Single number is 3. k equals 3. That's it done.